What's going on guys? This is Brian from Under One Sun and we're here to show you the five best festivals in Breckenridge. If you stay tuned till the end, we're going to show you a secret party that only the locals know about. They don't advertise for it. It's not on the internet. You just have to know where it is. Let's go guys. What's up guys? Thanks for hanging with us. Festival season is right around the corner. And we're going to go over the top five festivals at Breckenridge. Coming in at number five is the Spring Beer Festival. This festival will be happening on April 6th from about 12 until about 5. From 12 to 1 is really reserved for uh, those of you that have pre-ordered your tickets. If you've ever been to a beer festival in Colorado, you know we're the mecca of beer. There are beer festivals all over the state of Colorado. And one of the best ones is right here in Breckenridge. I'm going to put a link down below for you to pre-order those tickets. Don't forget to check out the video of us spending four days in Breckenridge. We considered it Snowmageddon. Two to three feet of snow and avalanches. It's an amazing video. Check it out. Here's the link. All right, we've made it to number four. Number four is the lighting of Breckenridge and the Santa Claus race. This event happens on December 7th of this year. You should really attend this one. It is in downtown Breckenridge. They block off the streets. They have a race with the Santas, about 0.7 miles all the way down Main Street. Um, they have a dog parade. They have karaoke. They have a lot of amazing events this weekend, um, but it's a great event to attend. Now to enter the race for Santas, it's $15, and all the proceeds go towards the Boy Scout Troop 187. All right, we've made it down to number three. Number three is going to be the Breckenridge Dew Tour. The Dew Tour normally happens about the second week of December, 13th to the 16th, something like that, but you got to keep an eye out for it. They're renewing their contract this year, so they're still negotiating some of the terms, but this is one of the biggest festivals in Breckenridge. It has the world best snowboarders, skiers, and uh, Breckenridge Dew Tour is an amazing event. The entire town is packed, all the locals are out. You really have to come check this event out as well. Now the Breckenridge Dew Tour is a free event. You just ride the gondola up, they have all the events right in front of you, right on the mountain. If you're looking to stay in Breckenridge this weekend, you better book up about six months ahead of time because the entire place is packed. You have the locals, you have the professional snowboarders, the professional skiers, they're all here for this event. Now the rest of the mountain is open, but the park area is going to be closed for just the professionals, but that really consolidates a lot of the other locals and the other skiers that are coming to the event, which makes the mountain crowded. So you want to get there early, get there about 9 o'clock, spread out, get out to peak 6, peak 7, even over on to peak 10 to really get some great skiing in for the day. So definitely come check this event out. Here's a link to the Dew Tour in case you want to know anything else about it. Now these last two events, I really had a tough time choosing which one was number two and which one was number one. But coming in at number two is, that's right, Ullerfest. Uller is the Norse god of snow, so we come out to celebrate the coming of snow, winter, ski season, snowboard season. This is definitely one of the most underrated festivals of the year. Now, Ullerfest includes what we call the world's longest shot ski. Have you ever done a shot ski? That's when you place a old ski, you put four shots on it, and everyone does all of them at once. Now, this one is, they set it up in Main Street, and they have over 1,200 people doing a shot at once. This includes 422 skis connected together and over 2,000 feet of skis. This is going to happen on January 9th, it's a Thursday, and it doesn't cost anything to get in, you just have to get on the waiting list. I'm going to put a link down below that shows you how to join the waiting list. After the world's longest shot ski, you have to attend the bonfire. Now this bonfire is incredible. We didn't go the last couple of years, but this year we went. They take all the Christmas trees in Breckenridge, they bring them down to one spot and they burn them. They have a live DJ. It's an incredible bonfire. The entire town shows up. It's free to enter. You just have to show up. You definitely have to make it to this event. It's an incredible event. Bring your hats, bring your clothes. This event starts on Wednesday, January 8th and goes until Sunday, 
January 12th and it opens up I believe at noon ends about 5 but all the events are throughout the entire day they start celebrating on Wednesday they end midday on Sunday so make sure you make it to Breckenridge from January 8th to the 12th to the Uller Fest. Now we have finally made it to number one. If you've ever been to Breckenridge, you know what's coming up. Coming in at number one is Oktoberfest. Nope, that didn't work. Oktoberfest. That's right. It's an amazing festival. This is one of the only festivals in Breckenridge where they block off the entire main street and it is packed from end to end. They have, have over two dozen vendors from Germany with real German food. Now remember, Oktoberfest is in September, not in October. For what reason? I have no idea. The event starts on September 6th, ends on the 8th. I'll put a link down below to share an event schedule. One thing you cannot forget to do is pre-order your beer stein. You say, what's a beer stein? Little stein? Big stein. Littler stein, biggest of the steins. One liter beer steins are about 38 bucks and they give you two tokens. Each token's worth about five bucks. And you can also order a half liter beer stein for $33. And you also get two tokens with that as well. If you don't want to pre-order, just show up. Most of the time they have beer steins, but don't gamble. Follow the link down below to purchase your beer stein. Unfortunately, this is one of the events in Breckenridge that is pet free. Can't bring your pets to this event. All up and down Main Street, they have some really fun games. They have some great food, great drinks. If you're looking to come and stay the entire weekend, I'll also put a link down below for lodging offers. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, but you should definitely check it out for the weekend. So thanks a lot, guys, for joining me in the top five best festivals in Breckenridge. My name is Brian. I'm with Under One Sun, and live life to the fullest. And don't forget, we're all under one sun. See you, guys. As a bonus, we're going to tell you about a party that happens in Breckenridge that has never been advertised, only the locals know about it, and you're going to find out about it right now. The place to be in Breckenridge is the Kentucky Derby. I know it's not the first thing you think of going to Breckenridge. You want to be a part of a large Kentucky Derby party, but this is an amazing event. This event will be happening this year on May 4th. This is a collaboration between Kenosha Steakhouse and the Breckenridge Brew Pub. They're putting on an event that has, for $40, a four-course meal. They're going to do some beer samplings with food. And the event's amazing. It's really good. And then we move on from the Kenosha Steakhouse over at about 4.30. We move to the RMU Tavern. Be sure to be dressed up in your garb, your feathered hat, your tuxedos, whatever you would like to dress up as for your Kentucky Derby. So that's it, guys. That's the amazing event. We hope you had a great time. And don't forget... We're all under one sun. See you later.